everyone, my name is Eva Garcia and I'm going to present our work. The Green Accelerator has been three algorithm. This work has been done with Albert Bifet, Niklas Ladeson, Rikard Koenig and Henrik Lineson. Let's start with the background. What are halving trees? Halving trees are online decision trees that are able to analyze data from potentially infinite streams, reading the data only once and storing only the statistics at the leaves. These two properties make them pretty energy and memory efficient. However, there's a main drawback that their predictive performance is not as good as that of ensemble of halving trees and state-of-the-art algorithms. Our goal with this algorithm here today is that to see if we can build an extension of the halving tree algorithm that is as good as state-of-the-art and forest of trees while being more energy efficient. Our answer to that is the green accelerated halving tree algorithm. The idea here is that we have an energy budget and we want to use that in a smart way by spending more, en more energy sorry, on those part of the trees that have a higher impact on a positive increase of accuracy and saving energy and memory by deactivating those nodes with the lowest impact. In the end, we have a hybrid solution with an algorithm that is going to grow the tree adaptively. To check how does our solution compare to state-of-the-art ensembles and halving trees, we have created a set of experiments. We compared all these algorithms in terms of energy consumption accuracy as the percentage of correctly classified instances and size, the number of, no the number of nodes of the tree, to check their memory requirements. We have done that in six synthetic datasets and five real-world real datasets. What are the results? In terms of accuracy, we are able to achieve significantly better accuracy than the halving tree, check with one of our objectives, and then we are able to achieve even a little bit higher accuracy than the state of the art and of some of the ensembles. So in terms of accuracy, pretty good. In terms of energy, we are able to reduce the energy consumption significantly of the state of the art and the ensembles. Let's look at this figure. This figure shows the number of instances, uh, sorry, it shows the energy consumption in terms of the number of instances. That is, how well does our algorithm scale with the number of instances in terms of energy consumption? What we can see is that the ensemble OSA bug and OSA boost scale really bad in terms of number of instances. The energy consumption is pretty high, which makes them not so suitable to run on edge devices, tiny ML applications, and so on. And the green accelerated halving tree is able to achieve significantly less energy consumption than the state of the art. That is the pink one there. The state of the art is the pink one, algorithm is the green one. In terms of numbers, uh, we are able to achieve 27% less energy than state of the art. 67% less energy than online bagging, and 72% less energy than online boosting. A little bit higher energy consumption than halving trees, as expected, to achieve that higher accuracy. And in terms of memory, which was also really interesting to see, is that our solution creates smaller trees than the state of the art, on online bagging and online boosting. So basically, we call that smarter predictions. What we can see with this is that even though we can have the highest accuracy algorithm that is online boosting, but if we want to run that on a tiny ML application, probably it's better if we run something that is a tiny bit worse in terms of accuracy, not even 1% worse, but that is 72% more energy efficient. To conclude this poster, we're presenting here today the green accelerated halving tree algorithm that shows same predictive performance results as state-of-the-art and ensemble of halving trees, more energy efficiency with low memory footprint than those algorithms. And how do we do that? Well, we grow the tree adaptively by deactivating some nodes and growing faster the other parts of the tree. This reduces memory and increases accuracy. That's all for me. If you want to get in touch, feel free to send an email to eva at econo.ai my name is Eva Garcia and I'm a data scientist at Econosolution.
would be curious if there is other machine learning approaches on data stream classification and how they would be scoring. Uh, I think, uh, hi, thank you for your question. I think it will depend a lot on if it's an ensemble and if it can able, if it's able to handle concept drift, for example, uh, and the type of data set that you're using. Because one of the reasons we didn't use, uh, for example, some other random forest method that could handle concept drift was that it would definitely achieve a better accuracy in some concept drift scenarios. But in order to handle that, it increases the energy a lot. And we thought it was a bit of an unfair comparison. Mm -hmm. uh, but definitely, you can compare many more algorithms in, in those aspects. Are, are, are RNNs also used in that field? RNNs? Uh, I don't think so, actually. <laughs> not, not, not from what I've seen. <laughs> it's more about, you know, trees and a little bit more trees. <laughs> There's a lot, of neural ne not a lot of neural network guys in the audience, including myself. Um, I know, yeah, I'm aware, I know, I can see the yeah. outlier here. <laughs> Maybe you can also, uh, just for curiosity, uh, comment on sure. what platform you did the energy evaluation on. So these yeah, two actually, numbers, yeah, these two numbers that you provided. Yeah, I actually did it on my, on my personal laptop. Well, the, the mm -hmm. work laptop, there is a, a Mac running mm -hmm. Mac OS. And then for measuring the energy, uh, we use the, the library from Intel that is called Intel Power Gadget that basically estimates the energy consumption of their processor based on what is happening, based on the events at the processor. Thank you. So, sure, thank you so much. Uh, again, just a quick uh, shout out to our sponsors. Bear with me for one minute. We have different categories. We have executive sponsors. First one being ARM. Then we have Qualcomm. We have Samsung. Platinum sponsors. Ada Compute. Lattice Semiconductor. Gold sponsors, Brainchip, Babel Labs, DSP Group, Edge Impulse, Emza, Gray Matter Labs. Green Waves, Hymax, Imagimob, Latent AI, Maxim Integrated, Quixo. Reality AI, SenseML, Silicon Labs, Sentient, Google TensorFlow, Xmos, And lastly, silver sponsors, Edge Cortex, Hachi, and Synsense. 